Today we're making crystallized Christmas cards. These are some of my favorites. For this project you will need one card that you'd like to embellish, relatively plain. Of course the crystal colors and sizes are going to vary depending on what your card looks like and how much you want to embellish. So in this case I wanted to embellish the snowflakes and a little bit of the snow around the fox and a little bit of the fox's tail. So I chose two colors. I chose crystal copper and crystal clear and the sizes that I used in crystal copper were SS10 and SS6 and in the clear they are SS12 and SS6. You will also need E6000, a 3cc syringe, and I prefer the 18 gauge needle tip for E6000, a crystal katana or other rhinestone pickup device. You can use tweezers if that's what you have or what you prefer, a paper towel, and toothpick. To begin, you're going to take your syringe. I take the tip off so that there's more airflow happening there. Open it up and put in a little bit of V6000. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. You're really only going to use these tiny little dots. So don't overdo it or you're just going to waste your glue. Put the plunger in and push that up until it starts to come out of the top. Screw on your Lurlock tip and then you can gently push it until you see some come out. You can take your card and have a look at it and see where you want to embellish it. Now I'm going to start with this snowflake here and I want to put a big one in the middle and then small ones on each of the little branches and the way that I'm going to do that is as you can see I haven't been pushing <laughs> my uh, my glue out of my syringe but it does kind of seep out of the end so you can use that to your advantage and just gently tap it until it has a bit come out. Just kind of put that and you can sort of pull it back before you set it down so that the flow does not continue. And then you're just going to place your crystal. Can you do several at a time? Absolutely. So I'm going to push this to get the flow going again. Just kind of push it gently until you start seeing it come out. And then put the little dot right where you want it to be. So I've put a dot on the end of each of these eight little arms. I'm gonna pull my glue back, set that aside, and just place them. I missed one. No matter. I'll just a little dot. Make sure that you give them all a little tap to make sure that they have sunk down. And that's it. Lather, rinse, repeat. 
Remember to keep your glue dots the size of your crystals or a little bit smaller to avoid excess seepage. You may be asking what the toothpick is for, and it's exactly for this. In case you've added a little too much glue, you can sort of clean it up, just like that. Once I got started with these, I got pretty fast, and it took less than five minutes to decorate each card. Of course, they have to sit and dry after that, but I thought that wasn't too bad at all. For the Fox card, I ended up using seven of the SS12 in clear, 16 of the SS6 in clear, two SS10 in the crystal copper, and five SS6 in the crystal copper. Of course, you'll want to set these aside to dry, and you can do that either by laying them flat or setting them up as if they're being displayed anywhere that they won't be disturbed for about 24 hours before you send them out. Here are all the cards that I crystallized this year. Some of them had glitter and some of them didn't and I loved them all. Happy holiday crafting everybody!